spring cleaning continues the next day, but look at this. That, I had heat exhaustion the other day and now I'm going in for a warm up break for my hands. How insane is that? Hey guys, got a box and a meal. Exciting. This is going to expand our off-grid capabilities quite a bit. Anybody guess what it is yet? There's a good sign right there on the side. Uh oh, I might need a container for this. I'll be right back. I have a pink trash can. Can you tell there's girls in the house? Let me get all this out of the way. This is an addition, an expansion to the off-grid homestead. I've got more. I just mentioned them actually. The one video clip was a few days back and now I've got more Neato bot batteries. These are 14.4 volts at 4.2 amp hours each. That's a pretty powerful battery right there. That is a uh, really impressive pack. But what's going to be really impressive is you can hook these up in parallel to get all that power combined. And I'm going to do a video coming up here about batteries in series and parallel. And I'm going to start some more videos on... Well, I'm going to be building these packs, for one thing, and I'm going to take you step by step through building solar power energy systems, because I'm going to be doing it. The garage is hopefully quite soon going to be off the grid. My wood shop, workshop, you can tell this is a heavy box that's shaking my whole table. So there are a mass of Neato robot batteries. And I'm going to do some numbers here when we get these out of the box. Now these are from Battery Hookup. I'll put the link down below. And they have discount batteries. Now these generally can all be brought back to full capacity. A lot of them are in sleep mode. And contrary to what you've been all taught, you can wake up a battery from sleep mode and use them as always as long as there's no physical damage and they haven't been too abused i also have a coupon code diy tube i'll put that down with the link you can save five percent in your next purchase um battery hookup and this is not an advertisement i buy from them heavily as you have seen um battery hookup has um, new, slightly used, and used, and recycled batteries. Some people like to take um, laptop batteries and recycle some of the cells out of them. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I like to take whole packs that I can restore or re re uh, wake up and just build my battery banks, which is what I'm going to do. So let me run some numbers here, and I'm going to tell you the amount of power I will have and their price. I'll be right back with the numbers. So with these packs here and the ones I've had previously which I've shown you I'm gonna have this right here is a 100 amp hour battery pack. The price is roughly sixty dollars per kilowatt hour for except for the brand new batteries I can't speak for them for all of the there are, most of their other batteries, it averages about $60 per kilowatt hour of power from the batteries on their site. And that's roughly what I'm getting here. So, roughly $60 per kilowatt hour. Now, let's do some numbers here. There's 61 watt hours per cell or per pack. Right here is 1.5 kilowatt hours of power. That is... A really good amount of power. That's one and a half kilowatt hours right there. Just these batteries. 
So I'm going to have almost 3 kilowatt hours of power on my power wall, power wall that I'm building in my off-grid solar powered workshop just with these alone. Now I also have the other batteries which I don't remember if I mentioned it was a couple days ago. I have I think 20 or some of these. These are um, four pack motor modem batteries and if you combine them you have the exact same power and capacity as you have in here. So I might even get up to four four and a half kilowatt hours of power combined with all these batteries that I got from the last two purchases. So that's um pretty decent amount of power considering the workshop. You're not running things like non-stop consistently all day long. It's a lot of intermittent use. I think it'll be good. Now I've got solar panels, I've got solar charge controllers, now I have batteries. I have everything I need to build a solar powered workshop. So watch for these videos. Go ahead and check my electronics channel and how I um, bring these back and wake them up because you can really save a mega ton of money by buying these like this. And all you have to do is take the red and the black, the plus and minus, and connect them and you've got more power. That's it. Combine them all, string them up, as long as the batteries wake up and the circuits still work, that's all you need. You can also add a current limiter, which I'll show you later. But I'll cover all that in fine detail, including articles, so that everybody can understand. Watch for these videos, and uh, I'm going to get back to it. Well, look at this, guys. Amazing. It's been a complete family project. The only thing I have left to process here is this pile. I started on it, but uh, I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted. The girls have cleaned up every bit of junk from the, the ground and put it on the garden for walkways. And uh, Melanie and I, we got two, four, probably about five or six, well, seven or eight, I don't know. We got a lot of wood put up um, that we've been picking from the yard. That's odds and ends for our our own use right there we got two face cord over here of odds and ends we've got uh two-thirds of a face of dry pine with some wet um evergreen type mix and some hardwoods behind that then we got here some uh slightly damp pine it's all firewood and all goes here we got some pine to process yet and we'll get to that soon we got some oak that's wet, almost dry. We got some dry oak up front with a whole face cord of wet back behind. We got a beautiful dry face cord of oak up front and a wet one behind. We got some poplar here. And here I got, please do tell if I am right, I think this is birch. Now the rodents are loving it, but I think this is a form of birch, I'm not quite sure. Um, it's got this interesting color. Am I right? Is that what that is? It's got these darker patterns in the wood. I don't know, but it seems harder. It was brutally hard to cut that stuff with my little Ryobi chainsaw. There's a uh, interesting colors. So I'm not sure this is not a, a, a type that I'm familiar with. There's the bark, it's got some green in it, actually. I don't know what that is. It's from a job I got. And uh, that's actually the logs over here. Let me take you over and show you them. While we're going over, the whole yard is cleaned out except for that little pile. The mowers are moved. I've got here stuff off the ground so it won't rot that's my cedar and some lumber that I'm going to use to extend my ramps up to the sawmill better and here's that wood um, 
At first, I thought it was poplar when I brought it home, but I wasn't really paying attention. It was all snowy and cold and miserable. I don't know that. It's got browns and greens in the bark. So yeah, if you know that, tell me what you think, guys. But I was gonna run that on the mill into lumber, but I'm not even sure what it is. Uh, depending on what it is, that's what I'll decide on what lumber I'm gonna make out of it. But I'd love to hear from you what that is, if anybody knows. Anyway, that's it for today. We got uh, as planned, we still gotta get this section cleaned up. There's a lot of wood mixed up in here and a lot of uh, bark. I think we got a couple face court over here to take care of yet. And then I'm gonna get rid of all this out of here and those will be milled. You gotta move the stove, but I'm out of energy. This whole yard is gonna be clean here. Another day. Looking good.